breaking news this bulletin. The AIDS Healthcare Foundation is bringing a delegation of American activists to South Africa. The South African School Championship is taking place in Durban across various venues. The month of July is known as Mandela Month. We are South African citizens. What are they doing to honor Nelson Mandela this month? Good day, I'm Carissa Mons. And I'm Dagan Martin, and you're watching Journalism is Eco News. The AIDS Healthcare Foundation will be bringing a delegation to South Africa. The delegation will be visiting the AIDS Healthcare Foundation in Heidelberg as well as Mlazi's Itemba Labantu to discuss HIV and AIDS with the local community. The AIDS Healthcare Foundation brought to South Africa a delegation of American activists and celebrities. That includes the AIDS Healthcare Foundation ambassador and R&B singer Hwapele Musabane, as well as cast members and lead actors of an American series created by Black and Sexy TV, Kalila Joy and Courtney Burrell. So this is the main clinic for AHF here to Mulas. We do support other government clinics but mainly this is for AHS. Okay. So this is the farmers I was telling you about. The delegation visited the AIDS Healthcare Foundation's clinic in Heidelberg and Umlazi at Itembalabantu Clinic to engage with staff members and local community members on matters about HIV and AIDS, HIV testing, HIV prevention, and any other issues relating to HIV. Let me know where you would go or where you would tell a friend to go. Okay. Okay, to all. My name is Nogi Luga. I'm a student I'm 17 years old. Um, when I face a situation like that, I would go to Etienne Balabantu Clinic because they test us, they give us medication, they cancel us, we go to the social worker, we get every help we need if we have faced the situation. So you have to come to Etienne Balabantu Clinic. Thank you. I wanted to get involved with this organization and become a cultural ambassador because I care about um, women and girls health and I care about my family and my extended family and I care um, about the statistics that have been rising. In addition, AIDS Healthcare Foundation will be hosting discussion sessions in Johannesburg and Durban focusing on youth, sexual health and other issues affecting the youth. For Eziko News, I'm Fundo Knowledge Mtembu. The South African School Sports Championships is currently underway in Durban. Our on-field reporter, Benal Naidu, has more. Hoy Park, the venue for netball in the South African School Sports Championships, played host to the best netball players from schools all over the country as the netball tournament took place there. We've got lots of children participating and this is a culmination of our provincial selections. We've got under 16 mainstream, we've got the intellectually impaired, we've got the um, mildly mentally handicapped as well as the deaf playing and I think it's an awesome opportunity for these children because particularly our disability kids, they don't get the same opportunities as others and I think this is a wonderful initiative that government has put in. The event which is held annually sees the best youth in the country come together to take part in various sports such as soccer, hockey, rugby and netball. I'm training Sasa II, intellectually impaired, that is Sasa II. You need to take some time to train them. You don't just go there and find yourself. It might take you two to three years just to, to train them. Once they they are good, they are good, just good. Participants were more than excited to be a part of a tournament of this magnitude. I just, I consider it a, a really big honor, like, and it's a dream come true because Nepal is our passion and we're just glad we can share it with people that enjoy it as much as we do. Yes. So. We go through like a series of um, trials, so how much we... There were about five, yeah, five well, trials. There were about five trials, beginning with the, like certain regions and then it goes bigger and bigger and bigger and 
Um, in the end, it's like all the Western Cape schools. So we are at Hoy Park, where the best challenge from South African schools are participating in netball, chukske and koko. We, we are at day two of a five-day event and it's only going to get better than this. Soccer, rugby and hockey are coming up later on in the week across various venues in Durban. So from here at Hoy Park, I'm Vinal Naidu reporting for Journalism Iziko. Iziko News hit the streets to ask South Africans how they are going to be giving back in commemoration of Tata Madiba. For this Nelson Mandela Day, I'm going to be going to the Dennis Halle Center because I feel they need, they need to help out with the refugees in their camp. I'm sure they need a lot of stuff and I also have clothes that I don't use anymore so I can get those and those of my sisters and my friends just to go there and give out to other people. For Mandela Day, I'm just going to be good to people and I'm going to do everything what they want and I'm still working for God all the way. Yeah. Uh, on Mandela Day, I would like to visit the Ndutuzweni Home for the Blind, just to help out and to, of course, um, have conversations with uh, blind people. For Mandela Day, I'll be uh, feeding hungry children in uh, Kamashu. Yeah. That's all we have time for today. Catch us next time for your news, sports and entertainment headlines. I'm Chris Amant. And I'm Dagan Martin. Goodbye. Goodbye.